Welcome to this walkthrough of the stud wall module which is available in StrutCog Plus and StrutCog Pro. It is important to note that a stud wall is a system of design modules with an unknown number of designs. Due to the amount of adequacy and VMD diagram information that is required after a calculation is done, the stud wall doesn't use the same system as the rest of StrutCog. Instead it has a reporting system that tells you what is likely wrong until the design is passed. Detailed information is not available unless you open the print preview. LRFD and ASD design is available. Here you can also select wet or dry factors. The properties on the left-hand side refer to the studs in the design which are not able to be opened and customized. These inputs should be considered to be the same for every column in the stud wall, except custom columns. All other column settings are auto-set by the program. Headers are able to be opened individually and designed on their own, or can be left alone to be auto-designed by the program. There are three types of openings in a stud wall. Those are doors, windows, and collectors. Doors go from the floorboard and don't touch the top board. Windows touch neither the top board or the floorboard. Collectors touch both the top board and the floorboard. Existing openings can be clicked to be opened for either editing or deleting. Headers again are able to be opened individually and designed on their own. or can be left alone to be auto-designed by the program. Vertical loads can be applied as uniform, trapezoidal, and point loads. If a point load requires additional bracing, a customizable column will be added below the load the user can design. This custom column can only be removed automatically by the program by reducing the load that created it. Stud walls allow for lateral wind loads to be applied to the face of the entire wall as shown. The loading view shows all the vertical loads that have been applied to the stud wall. It is important to note one thing about the ease of use of the stud wall module in that it applies all loads to all members automatically when you add the load. So when you enter a uniform load across the entire wall, it applies it to each stud and header during the next calculation round. If the king and jack studs are overwhelmed due to vertical or lateral forces during calculations, the program will automatically adjust those for us until a pass event has been achieved. Large lateral loads will often require additional king and jack studs, as well as large uniform loads such as multiple stories of dead loads coming down. The program has told us that the studs have failed due to deflection. Increased stud size 
reduce OC spacing, or reduce loading. After making a few adjustments, the stud wall has passed. There is no auto size, as the auto sizing is done automatically behind the scenes when calculate is pressed. The only downside at this time is none of the calculators are available in this module and all loading must be entered manually. You can also not use links in the stud wall at this time, but both of these features are coming soon. Now that my design is passed, I will open the print preview to view my output and customize it for future printouts as part of my project. I can select diagrams and different views here that will be saved and print as selected when doing a print project later. Thank you for watching this walkthrough of Studwall's Instructcock.